coming back with another haul video. This is a haul video from a antique store that I stopped at in the one of the towns that I work in, um, little country town um, here in New York, and I found some good finds. It's just a little bit of a haul, so I'm also going to show you what <laughs> very little progress I'm making on my first official junk journal. So why don't we get started? and I will show you a couple different things. And one of the things I'll show you is this salt and pepper shaker set. And it is um, Anchor Hawking, so in a white tops. And they're in pretty okay condition. This one's kind of rough. So I'm not sure if you would want to just use it for display purposes um, and have it as part of your display and have some stuff on the inside. You know and uh, that's what I would do I would do some sort of craft in here <laughs> but that's just how I that's what I like to do so the next item is actually another set of um, salt and pepper shakers and these are have the red top and um, the different striping kind of like if you had a Hoosier cabinet be kind of neat there's no markings at the bottom on these so, but these are pretty cool too. So I found a couple of those, I guess <laughs> it was salt and pepper shaker day cause I found another set and these are luster wear. It shows a wonderful scene on the water with the boat and very pretty. The gold is still pretty good there. You know, um, wouldn't be one so much to use as salt and pepper itself, but, uh, for a beautiful display. It is made in Japan. And there are two of them, of course, salt and pepper shakers. And, um, whoops, there's actually still a sticker from the vendor perk that was there. So I'll take that off. And this one also has this cork stopper made in Japan. So these were very nice find. Oops, <laughs> there we go. And um, uh, my strawberry fans out there, we have these beautiful strawberry candle holders. And these are from, let me see, uh, Bavarian Village in West Germany. All right, wait, what? Okay, West Germany. That's kind of weird. If you said it says West Germany, USA, <laughs> so it's porcelain. Sorry, that took me back a little bit. That's why I was kind of like, what? <laughs> okay, so, and this is another one here. Sorry about that. They had the little sticker on there. And this is also, you know, so you have a beautiful set of strawberry candle holders. Very nice. All right, and then it is that time of year, so we're getting closer to uh, St. Patrick's Day, and I found this beautiful mug, very big. Oops, wrong direction. It has a thatch roof um, house and different things that they're outside, and of course the shamrocks, and then a Tara brooch here. And these beautiful gold rims around the bottom and the top and the thing that needs a little cleaning. <laughs> um, I would say it's okay. It's got a little bit of crazing and it is made in, well, in Cork, Ireland in the Kerry Glen. I know I butchered that. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> the pottery in Cork, Ireland. So it's a very beautiful and very big mug. So you could definitely have something nice for a display. Uh, you know, something coming out of the top and the design around the bottom is very nice too. So we'll have that possibly at one of my live sales coming up. I have live sales every Sunday, three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And loved if you could join me. And if you like what you see, you could thumbs up or subscribe to stick around, see my funny antics. <laughs> so let's keep going, see what else I got. I got this really nice little card or um, mail holder. You know, it has all the spirals and it came even with a cute little bow. 
and it sits nicely. It has a little rubber stop so that it won't hurt your table. And nice display here. You know, you could have it this way or sideways. So really nice to dis for display purposes. And I found this very nice little, I'm assuming it's a salt cellar, but I haven't had a chance really to look it up. Um, it's this pink glass, pink, I'm thinking pink depression glass because of the way it's designed, nice lines. And inside, I think it is a chariot with the horses. So if you see that, I don't know if you can see that pretty well. I thought that was quite interesting. And that leads me into actually the other thing, but it's the piece de resistance. <laughs> That's probably all the French I remember from school. <laughs> it, this is another sugar and creamer set that I picked up. Well, this isn't, I picked up in other places, other ones, sorry. <laughs> so look at this. Pink, I'm assuming it's pink depression glass, but look at this almost like art deco looking handles. Gorgeous. I don't see markings as to who made it on the bottom and it has a matching creamer. Gorgeous. And now Usually they don't come with this, but the was with the set was the holder and has beautiful designs on the handles. And so it was a set that came together and it's very rare to see that set. And I got a great deal on these. So these will definitely be in one of my live sales, probably as an offer up. And come to one of my live sales and see what we mean by that. So that was a great find, a little, but I think it was great. And I'm definitely gonna go back to that antique store to check out what else they had because lots of, lots of territory to cover at that store. This was pretty small haul. So what I wanted to show you is my, <laughs> my very first official coming together junk journal, because I've said it a few times that I'm trying to make some junk journals. Well, this one was one I started for Christmas. And this one is made out of um, envelopes, you know, your standard like manila envelopes. So I'm definitely not even close to being done. And I'll probably end up going into another holiday to do a different one. But this was the cover. And some of these things were things that I got from different um people that also do live sales that sell ephemera so this was very pretty here this is the cover and it has the postcard and the different um lace and different kinds of cards and then i have this is the back this was one of the uh, little sticker type things you know the lick and stick kind of things that you get i got that um and for a friend mail and then I, this comes apart because these are the pages and I haven't even like sewn it in yet so I found some really cool picture or not pictures but pages that I'm going to be using so stay tuned for that but um, one of the other things I have now this one's kind of neat so it folds out but then it folds up and then there's some tuck spots here and here and so it's gonna be kind of neat when it's finally finished <laughs> hopefully before next christmas and i did this here now this is the best thing here i love it so it opens up like that and that's another beautiful postcard that i got from um one of the other people that does the live sales i'm pretty sure it was from stephanie from thrifting adventures so i'll link her um website or website uh youtube in my description because she has live sales every Tuesday and she does a wonderful job and definitely has a lot of fun stuff, ephemera and jewelry and all sorts of stuff. So this is so far as what I've gotten so far, if I don't finish this one right now, I'm definitely hoping for a few more uh, Valentine's Day and um, 
couple other ones. So stay tuned and hopefully I'll have a finished <laughs> junk journal to show you. So thank you for uh, checking out my video, the little live haul that I, ha live haul, oh my goodness, thrift haul that I got from the antique store. And you should see some of these things in my live sales. So stick around if you want to see my antics and silliness and check out a live sale every Sunday at three o'clock standard Eastern Standard Time. And I will see you again. If you like what you see, thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you again. Bye.